Hello everyone, how are you today? And this is your teacher Nana. I'm here with a new science session and for it is for the class 5. And welcome everyone, welcome to Swiftlon. So Swiftlon is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes and personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students. Then the teacher can really directly evaluate the student's progress within the class itself and she can pay a lot of attention towards the kids. So we have a dedicated academy the team to track and work on student's progress and we can see where the student stands according to her progress. So covers the syllabus as per the school exam schedule and also handle custom request. And here we go, let's have a quick look at our key features. We have our key features that are detailed progress reports, Swiftlon academic test series and here you can take unlimited practice test. And we have subjective text for school exams also. So get ready, book a free child class today itself and be part of Swiftlon and enjoy the art of learning with Swiftlon. So everyone welcome to our science session and if you like the session please remember to like, comment and share. And here we go, today's topic is pollination. So please note down on your notebook about pollination. And today we're gonna learn about the bisexual and monosexual flowers. That is the first topic. And the second one is the pollination. And the third one is the types of pollination. And fourth one, process of pollination. So the first one is a bisexual and monosexual flowers. Before that, let's have a quick look about the previous class. So in this previous class, we studied about the types of reproduction and its need for survival or species. So let's have a quick recall about it. And here, so what is mean by reproduction? So reproduction is a process of getting new plants, right? So, this process is essential and mandatory for the living of the species on the earth. So, you can see there is a big plant over here and the seeds are falling down. After that, a new plant is coming from there. So, the reproduction we can divide into two, such as sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. So, when it comes to asexual reproduction, the seed has no role in this type of reproduction but the leaves the root and stem they are playing a mandatory a relevant role within this kind of reproduction that is why it is known as asexual reproduction so here let's go let's look at the sexual reproduction so in the sexual reproduction the new plants are produced with the help of the seed so the seeds are playing a vital role in, role in this reproduction that is why this kind of reproduction is known as sexual reproduction. So the example is orchids and so many kind of flowers are doing the sexual reproduction. And here look at the flowers. So the flower is a part of a plant which produces fruits and seeds. So here is a flower, right? This is a flower. So in this flower, there are ovaries and ovules. That is why flower is a plant which produces fruits and seeds. And seeds are used to grow new plants. So remember about the sexual reproduction. The seeds are used to grow new plants. So a flower is attached to the shoot by a stalk or a pedicel. Here you can see a flower is attached by the shoot, atta attached to the shoot by the stalk or a pedicel. So the stalks, tips is the thalamus from the floral parts arise like petals. You can see from here, this is the, from here you can see the petals are arising. And let's have a look at the parts of a flower. So I the whole flower group into two. Monosexual or unisexual flowers and bisexual flowers. Okay. And here, in the unisexual flowers, Either male or female reproductive part will be present but not both. But when it comes to 
bisexual bi means two sexual flowers means there are two uh, types of like both male and female uh, reproductive parts will be present yes so the example is the sunflower okay here bisexual flowers as we mentioned earlier the flowers has both antrecium and gynecium that are male reproductive part and female reproductive part are present so the examples are mustard pea and sunflower let's know down the examples so the bisexual flowers has both antrecium and gynecium and the examples are mustard pea and sunflower so monosexual flowers or unisexual flowers which means some flowers have either male or female reproductive part but not both so let's have a look over here such as watermelon cucumber and papaya so these are the three examples of monosexual flowers so functions of the flower so what are the functions of the flower do you have any idea please share with teacher go ahead yes so the main function of the flower is the flower has a reproductive part of the flower which is reproduce seeds and fruits so which has ovary and ovule so ovary will turn as the fruit and the ovule will turn ovule will produce or ovule will turn as the seeds so this process starts by transferring of pollen grains from anther to stigma so how the female gametes reach the female gametes in the plants do you have any idea if you know the answer please share it with the girl she's so confused yes wow that is so nice it's so light it flies in the air so the male and the female gametes fuse and form a zygote okay so as like humans we have both and female both female and male genders right so just like us the flowers also need a female gamete and a male gamete they will fuse together and it will form a zygote so the male gamete reaches the female gametes by the process of pollination okay so now we are going to learn about the pollination so imagine so these are the anther and the stigma so this is the anther so from where the pollen grains will transfer and it will attach the stigma that is the process okay the transfer of pollen grains from male gametes so this is the value based question for today after a rainy season while mani was strolling in her garden notice many small plants of various fruits and flowers which were not present in her garden she wondered where they had come from as nobody had planted them there as mani loves gardening she started cleaning the area around the small plants and taking care of them so the first question what is an embryo please answer it get so what do you think the plants grown in mani's garden had come from what do you think get so how do seeds of some fruits like tomato guava or brinjal propagate that is a relevant question and what value of mani shown here let's look at the answers so embryo is a future plant found deep inside the seed and it is formed from the development of zygote as this i got is formed by the fusion of male and female gametes and question number 2 the answer is plants grown in mani's garden may have come from seeds dispersed through various agents like animal insect wind and water which on getting favorable conditions have germinated into plants so the third answer seeds of these fruits are generally propagated through animal feces when they consume it so money what is the quality of money shown here so money is inquisitive and good observer and a mother nature lover very good job there if you could answer the questions or please read it over again and again until you got this idea 
So let's click here, let's play this activity. So here, the transfer of pollen from the under to stigma is called fertilization, pollination, diffusion and adoption. What is your answer? It's the pollination. Good job. And here, the male and female gametes fuse and form a... What is the answer? Is the zygote. And here... When pollen grains of the flower are transferred to the stigma of another flower on different plant is the process called? What is the process? It's the pollination. So let's check the answers. Here we go. Cross pollination. So let's play this activity. So here the transfer of the pollen from the anther to stigma is known as fertilization, pollination, diffusion or adoption. What do you think? The answer is the pollination. Very good job. And the male and female gametes fuse and form a structure that is known as? Go ahead. What is the answer? Let's start from Z. Is it zygote? Very good. So let's check the answer. Okay, and here. So when pollen grains of the flower are transferred to the stigma of another plant on a different plant, what is the process called? You have the answer in your mind. Go ahead. Is the cross pollination. Right? Very good. Let's check the answer. And the answer is correct. The transfer of pollen from and the to stigma is called pollination, which is correct. And here, the male and female gametes fuse and form a zygote. So, when the pollen grains of a flower are transferred to the stigma of another flower on a different plant, is called cross pollination. So, all these answers are correct. Very good job. And so now let's look at the flower. So the flower can be divided into two monosexual flower and bisexual flower. So when it comes to the monosexual flowers, there will be either male or female part as present. So when it comes to the bisexual flower, both male and female parts are present together. And the antrisium and the corolla. The antrisium is the stamen, which is a male reproductive part. From there, we can find the anther which has the pollen grains. When it comes to the corolla, the petals, the bright color and may produce the scent. So these are the petals which produce the scent and it's bright in color. So the calyx and gynoecium. Calyx is a sepal that is, which is, that is present within the flower. So it protects the flower and it's at the bud stage. So when it comes to gynoecium, it is a female reproductive part and it has the pistils. Okay, the pistils can be divided into three or four stigma, style, ovary, and ovule. So the stigma sticky and receives pollen grains, and the style connects stigma to the ovary. So style is a longer part which connects the stigma to the ovary. So ovary and ovule, ovary develops into the fruit and ovule develops into the seed. So this is the overall structure about the flowers. So now let's look at the pollination in general. So pollination is the process of the plant reproduction. So transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma. Okay. So the pollination can be divided into two self pollination and cross pollination. In the self pollination, the, the pollen grains transfer takes place on the same plant same plant, same flower or different flowers of the same plant. So the self-pollination is done by various agents. Pollination by the wind, pollination by the insect and pollination, artificial pollination. And cross-pollination 
transfer takes place on the other plant of the same flower. So the process of the pollination. The first one is anther of the flower produces pollen grains and which contains the male gametes and it carried by the wind, water or insect to reach the stigma and from the stigma they reach to the ovary with the help of the style and inside the ovary the male and female gametes fuse together and the reproduction takes place. Later the ovary will develop as the fruit and the ovule will produce the seed. So today we learned about the bisexual and monosexual flowers, pollination, types of pollination and process of pollination. So thank you everyone. Revise our chapter one more time. If you have any doubts, please comment below. And thank you for coming today. You were so awesome and positive. See you at the next session. Till then, bye. Take care. So if you like the session, please remember to like, comment and share. And bye bye everyone. Take care.